Emily. Emily, please. You know that I love you. You know I would never hurt you. <laughs> okay. Since the day that I met you, I knew that we belonged together. But sometimes you just push my buttons, Emily. It's like you're trying to make me angry. Just move out of the way, Jared. No. I want to go. But no, no. <laughs> Not until you accept my apology. I can't stand this tension between us. Why won't you just talk to me? Let me go, Jared. No! <laughs> Tell me that you love me! Tell me that you forgive me! You're hurting me! Okay. You never get to touch me again. It's the middle of the night. Where do you think you're gonna go? Wait! Emily! Emily! Stop with your games, Emily. You know I ain't being played with. I didn't know what else could <laughs> Sweetie. I always knew he was trouble. The signs were always there. I just didn't want to admit it. You can stay here as long as you need. My mom's not doing well. And I have to go be with her for a while. So that leaves this little beauty all empty. And no one to run the shop. The antique store? I always loved that place. Best hide and seek spot ever. Only if you're interested. It just feels so strange being back in Mill County. It's been 10 years. Honey, the city isn't working for you. It's time for a new beginning. Let's go. It's been a long night, and you must be exhausted. I should warn you, the shop may feel a little overwhelming at first. It's gotten even messier since we were kids, if you can believe that. <laughs> My mom could always find treasure in any trash. Plenty of opportunity to put those woodworking skills of yours to use. Oh my god. What was that about? Making friends already, I see. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. It hasn't changed a bit. Nope. The rest of the world is turning into one big strip mall while we stand frozen in time. I know it all looks like junk from someone's attic, but there's a lot of potential in here. Just needs a little love. I'm sorry I can't stay long. I gotta start packing. I'm heading to my mom's tomorrow. If I leave you the keys, do you think you could lock up later? Oh, sure. That's no problem. Well, I, for one, am glad you decided to give this place another chance. It'll be so nice having you close. Oh, and speaking of antiques, I got one more thing to show you. It's yours, for as long as you need it. As long as you can get it started. <laughs> oh my God. 
<laughs> no! It's your new baby. Lena. <laughs> what did I ever do to you, Linda Carmichael? Chocolate with a sprig of mint, just the way you like it. I'm sure you saw Jared. I don't know. It was dark. It looked like Jared's truck, but I can't be sure. I thought you filed a restraining order. I did. The day after. Well, then we need to call the police, let them know he's stalking you. I don't know. I can't be sure. Not enough to call it in. Maybe I'm just imagining things. I haven't been sleeping all that great. Here. I know. More, a few dresses, photo albums. And you sure you didn't see Jared? He didn't follow you back, or? No one followed me, sweetie. You're safe here, I promise. Thank you so much, Lena, for everything. Should I change my plans? Find someone else to take care of my mom for a while. I don't feel right leaving you all alone. I will be fine. Go, be with your mom. Give her a big hug for me. You can change your hairdo any way you like. I know exactly who you are. You disgust me. Like the classics. I do, but not as much as my daughter. She's a huge Jane Austen fan. She's reading Pride and Prejudice right now, and I think she'd love a desk like this. Something like her heroines used back in the day. How old is your daughter? Nine. Do you think this would be too big for her? Maybe a little big right now, but she'd grow into it fast. They built this furniture to last a lifetime back then. Okay. I'm sold. Great. By the way, I'm David. Emily, nice to meet you. 
Actually, I think you're the first person I've properly met since I moved back here. Well, thank you, Emily. And welcome back to the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't really have any way of getting this home. <laughs> Is there any chance you deliver? I will give it a fresh polish overnight and deliver it myself tomorrow. You don't mind? Oh, no. As you can see, I've got plenty of time. <laughs> So, this might seem a bit forward. I, for dinner? I just figured being new to town, you might enjoy a home-cooked meal. And I know it can be tough to meet people. Um, can I think about it? I'm just still sort of getting situated. Uh, of course. Uh, you can drop it off and decide then. No pressure. Okay. <laughs> chance to leave town, but you didn't listen. So I'm gonna tell you one last time. Who are you? Why, why are you doing this? Leave town, never come back. So help me, I'll kill you myself. Is there anything else you can tell me about the driver? I don't know. I hit my head. I was seeing stars. And the attacker claimed he knew you. He called me Charlotte. I'd never seen him before in my life. The way he looked at me. Can you think of any other reason why you might have been targeted? I just moved into town. I got into a bit of trouble when I used to live here, when I was a teenager, but... Nothing anyone would remember more than 10 years later. Well, we'll look into this SUV. In the meantime, do you have any questions? Give me a call. Thank you, Detective Miller. I will. doing here? I thought you were leaving town. Do I know you? Have I done something to offend you? Haven't you done enough, Charlotte? I am not this Charlotte person, whoever she is. I swear to you. Whoa. Here. Look. Emily North. Look, you can call yourself whatever you want, but I can see with my own eyes. Oh, I'm sorry, do you need a reminder? Is that supposed to be me? I'm sorry, I don't know what to tell you, it's just not. So you have the balls to stand here and tell me that that's not you in bed with my husband. One week before he died. Died? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. Well, then I got news for you, sweetheart. You got a long-lost twin. And she's a bitch.
Do you know where I could find her? Apparently her name is Charlotte Palmer. Wait, so Jared isn't the one who's been stalking you? It's some guy I've never met. And he thought you were this Charlotte person. Your long lost twin? Lena, I don't know what to tell you. I just want this to end. When I looked her up, this was her last known address. But how do you know this Charlotte person is actually your sister and not just some stranger who looks a lot like you? Exactly like me. I remember when I was a kid, I always thought my parents were keeping secrets from me. They never. Well, they say some pairs of twins, even if separated, go on to have similar interests, choose similar careers, end up living in the same small town. Well, the things people are saying about her, I'm not sure we have all that much in common. I guess I'm about to find out. Good luck. Thank you. I'll call you later. Yes, can I help you? I'm sorry, but we don't accept solicitors around here. Charlotte? Charlotte Palmer? Yes, I'm Charlotte Palmer. Why, what is it you want? Um, I'm Emily. I think, I think I'm your sister. <laughs> I don't have a sister. Did Blake put you up to this? Who's Blake? Oh. My God. Well, don't just stand there looking flabbergasted. Come inside. You have a beautiful home. Oh, this old shack? Don't be too impressed. It's not worth half as much as it costs. You could have fooled me. I couldn't find any other records, but I did find my birth certificates. St. Jude's St. Hospital, Hospital, Mill Hospital, County, New York, York June 15, 1990, 6.23 a.m., 6.28 a.m. So it's true. This is incredible. I just can't take my eyes off you. Does that make me the worst narcissist on the planet or what? <laughs> <laughs> Could you just turn that way a little for me? <gasps> what a treat to finally get to see the backs of my ears. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand why we were ever separated. It seems so cruel to do that to twins. Cruel. It's outright abuse. It's a wonder we're not both insane sociopaths from all the trauma. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't grow up out here too, did you? I can't imagine how we'd never have crossed paths. No, I grew up out west in Eugene, Oregon. The only thing I ever knew about Mill County were those two words stamped on my birth certificate. So what brought you all the way out here? A man, naturally. We met at a convention last year, and when I found out where he was from, I just thought it was meant to be. So I followed him out here like a little lost puppy. And somehow we both ended up here, back where we started. Like I said, fate. <sighs> My sister. The only way to tell us apart is that wrist brace. <laughs> and our hair. Yeah. <laughs> um, I need to ask you, Charlotte, have you had any problems with anyone here in town? I've had a few incidents, people mistaking me for you. I mean, I've made my share of mistakes, but nothing that would cause anyone to lash out. Some people just take issue with a woman who does her own heavy lifting, I suppose. 
Oh, speaking of heavy lifting, I'm late for a delivery. This has been amazing, but I, I really need to go. Are you sure? We were just getting to know each other. Well, you have my address and phone number. This is just the beginning for us. Give me a hug. It was amazing to meet you too, Emily. Like a gift from fate. Okay. get my message? Blake, I am asking you for the last time. Please stop harassing me. I haven't contacted the police out of respect for your brother and what we had between us, but you are pushing me too far. I am begging you for Trevor's sake. Still going for that Oscar, Charlotte? I know who you are. You're not getting one red cent of Trevor's money. If the lawyers can't get you out of that house, I'll toss you out myself. It's just a delivery, Emily. It's not a blind date. No pressure. And who might you be? I'm Emily, and you must be Adelaide. I've heard so much about you. I've heard that you know more about Jane Austen than anyone else on the planet. I do. I know she wrote the entire history of England before she turned 16, and she wrote her first play when she was 12 years old. Wow. Well, it sounds to me like you are going to love what I brought for you then. You brought a desk? Not just any desk. The exact same style of desk that Jane Austen sat at. Thanks so much for coming all the way out. Oh, my pleasure. I enjoyed the drive. Daddy! Look at Emily Brock. Could she please save her supper? Please, Daddy. <laughs> I swear I did not tell her to say that. Well, I was going to head home. But now that I've had a chance to smell whatever that sorcery is you've got going on in the kitchen, how can I say no? Come on in. This was delicious, David. Thank you so much. Oh, that's OK. I shouldn't for the drive home. But you wouldn't by chance happen to have any hot chocolate, maybe with a sprig of mint. It's my happy place drink. Not sure about the sprig of mint, but I'll see what I can whip up. Okay. Is something wrong? No, I just. I got some pretty strange news today, and I guess I'm still processing it. What happened? Well, I found out I have a twin sister, and she's here in town. <laughs> I'm serious. I met her for the first time about three hours ago. But how is that even possible? I like to think I'd have noticed seeing two women who look like you walking around town. She was born here, but she's not from here. She says it was fate that brought her back. So, what's she like, your sister? <laughs> Besides being just like you. She's a little more intense. Mm, somehow I find that hard to believe. <laughs> <laughs> and she's calling me right now. You should answer it. Are you sure? I don't want to be rude. <laughs> she's family. Hi, Charlotte. Nice to see you again. I won't keep you long. I just had to see your face one more time to reassure myself. This is not some sangria-induced hallucination. 
I know, I'm still pinching myself too. You didn't tell me you have a guy. Oh, uh, I don't. We're just, um, we're just having dinner. Charlotte, David, David, Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. Nice meeting you. <laughs> you too. He's cute. Oh, no. You have me on speaker, so he can totally hear me saying that, can't he? <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, I've embarrassed you enough for now. I've still got, like, 30 years of sister embarrassing to make up for. Talk soon. Okay, bye. Have fun, you two. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she really does look and sound like you. Yeah, it's a bit unnerving, to be honest. <laughs> like, I just found out I have a clone. Hey, here's to hot chocolate and shocking revelations. Cheers to that. Cheers. <laughs> the next big date? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm still figuring out this whole sister situation. Have you made plans to see her again? No, not yet. I'm getting the impression Charlotte's the spontaneous type. I still have so many questions to ask her, but I think I should take it slow. And she's here. Wait, Charlotte just walked in? Yeah. Bearing gifts. Okay, well, have fun. Just be careful. I know she's family, but she's still a complete stranger to you. Thanks, Lena. Talk soon. Hi, Charlotte. What a nice surprise. And you cut your hair. Hey, sis. I was meaning to cut it forever, but I wasn't sure until I saw it on you. Don't you just love saying that, sis? Were you in the neighborhood? You didn't have to come all the way out here. Well, I thought you might appreciate some higher-end cuisine. Or at least as high-end as it gets out here in Dullsville. <gasps> Look at all that glitz. Yeah, some of the stuff that comes through here is truly one of a kind. I guess you can't say that about either of us anymore. <laughs> you know, I had the hardest time finding this store. You've got, like, zero web presence. It's not very good for drumming up business. Yeah, the owner, Lena, she kind of prefers word of mouth. Also, I had to get a restraining order against my ex, Jared, so I'm sort of trying to stay off the grid. So I left. Not that the signs weren't always there. He was paranoid and jealous and controlling. Believe me, I know the type. That sort of man crumples like an old tissue the second you stand up to them. Remember, you're the one with all the power. I certainly don't feel all that powerful. <laughs> well, it's good you got out when you did. Not every woman does. Well, I will be sure to spread the word, but only locally. That'd be great, thank you. I need to ask you, Charlotte, and I'm sorry if this is too personal, but are you sure there's no one angry at you here in town? What makes you ask that? Did something happen? A strange man attacked me on the street. He warned me to get out of town and he called me Charlotte. Was he driving a black SUV? Yeah. Why? That might be Blake Forsbeck. I used to date his brother, Trevor. It didn't end well, and Blake has been completely obsessed with me ever since. I'm so sorry you got caught up in this. You need to be careful, Emily. Blake is not in his right mind. He can be dangerous. Believe me, I know. Okay, look, give me a chance to talk some sense into him. I will try to tell him that you are not me, and that should get him to back down, if you'll even listen to me. Thank you, Charlotte. But you need to be careful, too. Oh, don't worry. I can take care of myself. Yeah.
Charlotte. What do you want? I just wanted to let you know, Blake. It's gonna take a lot more than a fender bender to scare me the hell away. I deserve that money, and I want what I'm owed. You're... You're useless, Blake. A pathetic coward, just like your brother. All bark, all bull, no bite. Sorry about this, sis. Bitch. Why couldn't you just walk away? Huh? You're not getting a dime from my family's money. You just couldn't leave it alone. You just wanted to see how far you could push me! I'm not Charlotte! I'm not Charlotte! I'm your twin sister, Emily. I'm done listening to your lies, and I'm done believing anything that your evil mind cooks! He was unhinged. I never imagined he would go this far. He's alive. Call 911. He tried to kill you. Then he'll go to jail. I can't just let him die. I know you're probably pretty shaken up by all this, but can you come down to the station tomorrow? Give us a formal statement? That'll be fine, Detective. You knew Blake Forrest back? Yes, yes, I knew them. 
Can you think of any reason why Mr. Forsbeck would not talk to your sister? Sounds like you're trying to blame the victim, detective. Am I being detained? No, you're free to go. We'll contact you if we hear anything new. We'll match the paint from Blake Forsbeck's truck to the scrapes on your car. See if we get ahead. But why was he so angry? He accused me of being a murderer. Blake had a brother, Trevor. He died in an accident a little over six months ago, carbon monoxide poisoning from a faulty fireplace. He was alone in his bed, sleeping. That's awful. But what does that have to do with me or with Charlotte? It happened in a house Trevor secretly purchased in order to carry on an affair with your sister. She claims she wasn't there that night and provided an alibi. She also claims he left her the house, as well as a sizable financial windfall. Family's been fighting in court ever since. I had no idea. I thought Charlotte was rich. Appearances can be deceiving. What about Blake? Is he going to be okay? He's in intensive care. Word is he's going to recover, and then he's going straight to trial. to get any sleep last night? How are you holding up? I'm all right, I suppose. Blake had been tormenting me for a long time. So, honestly, it's like a big weight has been lifted. You probably saved my life, Charlotte. I don't know how to thank you. I'm just glad you won't have Blake's death on your conscience. I heard from Detective Miller. Oh? What did he say? Looks like Blake's gonna pull through. Oh, that is good to hear. Charlotte, I'm sorry to bring this up, but the detective told me something else. He told me Blake thinks you had something to do with his brother's death. <laughs> Blake never approved of me. He claimed I was after Trevor for his money a vicious lie. But I guess they told you all that, didn't they? In a tragic accident, Trevor died of carbon monoxide poisoning. We shared such a beautiful home, but it was too cheap to maintain that old fireplace. And he died while you were away? <laughs> I know how it looks. But I loved Trevor. I never set out to ruin anyone's marriage. <laughs> Gravitate towards unavailable men. After his wife kicked him out, he moved in here with me. Honestly, if the police were interested in anyone, it should be her, not me. Charlotte, are you okay? Anyway. It's all water under the bridge now. Not for Linda Carmichael. Or my neighbor Vera. He left quite an impression on both of them. Well, don't listen to those old bats. All they have is trashy talk shows and small town gossip. You don't believe them, right? Charlotte, I'm sorry. A customer just walked in. I have to go. I don't mean to bother you. It's your neighbor, Emily. I really need to talk to you. How do I know you're not her? I could show you my driver's license. She could fake that, I suppose. Um, I could swear on a Bible, would that help? I don't want anything from you, I just... 
I was just hoping you could answer some questions about Charlotte. Oh, yeah? What sorts of questions? Can I come in? I'm Vera, by the way. I'm sorry about how I acted before. I didn't know she had a sister. Not until last night, anyway. Well, it's nice to officially meet you, Vera. Although I wish it was under better circumstances. It's very generous of you, by the way, volunteering like that. Yeah, gets me out. So what can you tell me about Charlotte? How do you know her? Well, oh, I can't say I know her. She has a great big house, not far from my friend Nellie Martinez. And we'd see Trevor Forsbeck going in. Now, we knew he was married to Linda Carmichael, so it was pretty clear what was going on. My sister admitted to having an affair with him. Oh, she did a lot worse than have an affair. She was there the night he died. What? What did you see? Oh, it's not so much what I saw, it's what I heard. They were having a great big row. You could hear it clear across the road. And then I see her zip away in her little toy car. Next morning, I find out Trevor is dead. Oh, my God. Did you tell the police? Oh, I haven't trusted that crew since they arrested me for lewd conduct, summer of 73. Well, do you have any photos or videos of what you saw? You have no proof that Charlotte was there that night? Not from that night, no. But I do from last night. What is she doing? Leading the lamb to slaughter. She set Blake up. She used me as bait. I can't believe this. We need to show that to the police. Oh, the minute you stick your neck out with those people, that's when you lose your head. Well, then give it to me. I'll take it in. Oh. Vera, we can't let Charlotte get away with this. I suppose you're right. But I'm going with you. Let me get my coat. Nosy <laughs> old bat. I think it was a burglary? Probably. Some jewelry missing, other valuables. There's been a rash of home invasions in this area, mainly targeting the elderly. Mm. Anything else you can tell me? I was coming home from work. Everything looked fine. And then I saw her door was open. You said she was angry with you? I don't think Vera liked me very much, no. But now I think that might have been my sister's fault. What makes you say that? Charlotte seems to have a talent for getting under people's skin. Has there been any news about Blake Forsbeck? Mr. Forsbeck's been released on bail. He's currently under house arrest, pending his court date. Released? Already? I can assure you he's in no condition to cause you any more trouble. 
In the meantime, do you have anywhere else you can stay? No, I've done enough running, detective. I'm staying here. All right. I'll be in touch. Stay safe. Thank you, detective. Charlotte, hi. Sorry, I meant to call. There's just been a lot happening. No worries, sis. I just thought we could make brunch plans. There's this posh new place I've been scoping out. Apparently, they're giving out free tapas. Oh, I can't today. I'm sorry. I've just got too much work on my plate. Oh, are you sure? Is anything the matter? No, Charlotte. Everything's fine. Of course. Well, I guess I'll catch you later then, sis. Yeah. Bye. You snooping bitch. the job. Blake, listen to me. I'm not Charlotte. I'm her sister, Emily. Why should I believe you? Leave me the hell alone. If I were Charlotte, why would I even be standing here? What could I hope to achieve? Please, I just need to ask you a few questions. Charlotte, about what happened between her and your brother. You have two minutes until these kick in. Now, what do you want to know? Your brother, Trevor. Did he really die in an accident? It was no accident. He was murdered by your sister. The police say Trevor died of carbon monoxide poisoning. Do you have any proof Charlotte was involved? I know what it's like, Blake, to be betrayed by someone you trust. Before I came here, my ex made my life hell. The only reason I'm in Mill County is to get away from him. I'm not about to let Charlotte drive me away. The old lady who does the meal deliveries, Vera, she saw Charlotte that night. But it was just her word against Charlotte's. So the cops dropped it. Charlotte was there when Trevor died. But Vera died last night. Vera's dead? <sighs> Get out of this town. Never look back. Blake. Blake?
you. But definitely not my type. You need better standards, sister. Somebody needs a fashion intervention. I guess you'll have to do. Emily. Aren't you going to invite me in? I'm not supposed to be within 500 feet of you. I'm here on my own terms. I wanted to see you. I guess you weren't expecting company. Uh, I've, uh, I've been busy with work. I, uh... I've been a mess since you left. The truth is... I haven't stopped thinking about you. Of course you haven't. I've been thinking about you, too. You put a restraining order on me. Can't a girl play hard to get? I'm sorry. You know how emotional I can be, especially when I feel I've been wronged. Sure. That's what I always liked about you, Jared. You're a person with strong passions. This doesn't sound like you. <laughs> Maybe you just haven't been listening. You're not acting like you're... I know we can't go back to the way things were. But... Maybe we could start something new. Be even better than we were before. Uh, uh, I'd like that. I'd very much like that. God, I missed you. Have you, um, seen anyone else since you left? You know I haven't. Other men just couldn't satisfy me like you. Good boy. Close your eyes. <sighs> okay, you can open your eyes now. <laughs> what the hell would it feel, Jared? To be on the receiving end. Oh, you bitch! 
You disgust me, Jared. <laughs> Dating you was charity for me. You never satisfied me in the slightest. You tell the police about this? You tell anyone about this, and I'll tell them you attacked me when I came to get my things. I have all the evidence I need. Uh, you're taking pictures of me! You so much as come near me again, these pictures will be all over social media. This will be your resume for the rest of your miserable life. I take it back, Jared. I don't think any man could satisfy me as much as you're satisfying. What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. The restraining order. Restraining order? Where was your restraint, Emily? Not so tough now without your pepper spray. Pepper spray? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I was done. I'd moved on. You come back into my life just to torment me? Be happy now? Is this what you wanted? Jared, I don't know what you're talking about, but that, that wasn't me. What do you mean that wasn't you? Who the hell could it have been? Something has happened, something unbelievable. I have a twin sister. Her name is Charlotte. The person that you were with, it was her. <laughs> You think I'm stupid enough to believe that? Jared, Charlotte is just using both of us. She's using you to try to get rid of me. Boys! <laughs> you get back inside your box or I'll knock your goddamn teeth out. Get it! Emily? Emily! Stop playing games, Emily! Using me all along. It was just a plaything to you. I never meant to hurt you. I just wanted to love you. you Turn that all around on me. Jared, please. If you ever felt anything for me, I just need you to believe me. Just stop, okay? That was all fantasy. This is reality. Charlotte. 
Am I being charged with something? Your sister thinks the attack against her last night was provoked. She seems to... Did you see Mr. Renzer last night? I could get a lawyer. That would be your right. And we could continue this conversation down at the station after I retrieve traffic footage from every camera on his block. I did visit Jared. But not to provoke him. I went to plead with him. Plead with him about what? I begged him to leave my sister alone. To end the harassment. And now you're telling me that she's defending him? I can't imagine the mind games he must have played with her. The sheer mental abuse she's suffered. I was unaware that was ongoing. Well, it was. And she confided in me. So if you intend to arrest me for being an overprotective sister, by all means, throw on the cuffs. Well, she's lying to you. She's not trying to help me. Even if it's true and she manipulated him into attacking you, I don't know how we're gonna prove it in court. Ultimately, Jared acted by himself. So she's just gonna get away with it? Did you ask her about Vera? She denied ever meeting Vera Beale. And you believed her? It's not about what I believe, it's about what I can prove. And we're certainly going to continue looking into her. Then I got to find that proof. If you want my advice, Miss North, I would cut all ties with your sister and allow this investigation to play out on its own. I don't know whether to punch you in the face or to offer my condolences. Which one are you? Or does it even matter anymore? Emily, I'm Emily. <laughs> Linda, we need to talk. What can I do for you? You heard what happened to Vera? She was a good woman. She deserved better. What do you want? I think Charlotte had something to do with it. I think she's trying to cover her tracks. You think Charlotte? No. I don't want to know. OK, I've already been through hell with that lady. So. Linda, Charlotte is going to get away with murder again, unless we do something about it. Please. Is there anything you haven't told me about Trevor? Something that Charlotte might have missed? Blake. He said that Trevor was starting to worry about Charlotte. He thought she was trying to blackmail him. So he set up a hidden camera in the bedroom of that house that he bought. He was always the paranoid type, though, so... You never mentioned this camera to the police? Well, I mean, if it was your husband filming his affair, would you have? Who knows if it's even true? I need to get inside. Listen to me. If what you're telling me is true, then you need to watch your back. Because if Charlotte thinks that you're in her way, then you know. Charlotte, we need to talk about Jared. Can you meet me at my house in 30 minutes? We'll see you soon.
there. I guess I could come up with some big lie to explain what I'm doing here. But then again, I'm not you. Are you dressing like me too now? Not so well for you. Thought I'd give it a shake. Is that how you tricked Jared into coming after me? Don't blame me for your awful taste in men. It's hereditary. Charlotte. No one is going to believe you. Not anymore. You're right, sister. No one will believe me. Not if you're out there spewing your lies. I didn't want things to end up this way. But you've put me in such a position You've given me no choice. You attacked me in my own home. I had to defend myself. It's for you. You can't run from your own shadow, Emily! Just making this harder on yourself. You don't have to do this, Charlotte. We can figure this out together. And to think, six months ago, I thought I had it all figured out. And then Blake had to go and muck it up. Now look at me, traipsing through the mud like a crazy person. I'll probably be running for the rest of my life after tonight. After you're gone. Unless, of course, it's Charlotte who disappears. Let me just take one last look at how your cheekbones drink up the moonlight. You really are a beauty. It's a shame to see you go. Ugh. <sighs> 
David. Oh my God, I'm so glad you called. You won't believe what's happened. What I... Can you... Can you please meet me at my house? I just can't stand to be alone right now. Thank you, David. I don't know what I'd do without you. See you soon. You okay? What happened? It was Charlotte. It was Charlotte. She followed me. She, she tried to kill me. Where's she now? She was drinking. She was acting crazy. I was so scared. Good. We should get you checked out of the hospital. No, it's, I'm fine. I just, I just want to take a long shower and go to bed. Will you stay with me? Just for a little while. Yeah. Of course. Anything you need. <sighs> you brought your daughter. Uh, yeah, I hope you don't mind. It's too late to find a sitter. Of course I don't mind. You know I love kids. If you don't mind, I put Adelaide in the guest room. I've got a blanket for the couch. Figured I'd keep a watch downstairs. Actually, I was hoping you could stay with me. I don't want to be alone. All my life, I dreamed of having a sister. Real family. For a moment, I did. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry, Emily. I feel like I'm taking advantage of you. Maybe we should slow things down. You're not taking advantage of me. Uh, how about I? Whip us up a couple cups of hot chocolate, huh? With a sprig of mint. I'm not a big mint fan. I thought it was your happy place drink. Favorites change. <laughs> Speaking of favorites. Charlotte? Emily? Yeah. 
It's me. It's really me. <sighs> I'm so sorry this happened. Adelaide. Where's Adelaide? <gasps> She's not here. Charlotte, she must have taken her. What does she want with her? At this point, Charlotte just wants to get away from here. But in order to do that, she's gonna need money. I think I know where she's headed. <coughs> okay, just stay here, okay? I will call 911. I'll get her back, I promise. Sweetie pie, I'm just gonna be five minutes and then we'll get that ice cream I promised, okay? Okay. Okay, sit tight. You're still alive. That fighting spirit. I guess it's in our blood. Where's Adelaide? What'd you do with her? She's fine. What do you think I am? Some kind of monster? She and I are gonna be sticking together for a little while. You know, like sisters. She'll be my little insurance policy. Let her go, Charlotte. Take me instead. You? What are you worth? You're just an inferior version of me. Have to admit, it was nice having a taste of the good life. How many of us ever get to do that? Sleep between you and me? Now that I've had it both ways, it's a lot more fun being bad. I think it looks perfect. Like it was always made for that spot. Oh, it's just missing one thing. No, but it's your chair. Yeah, but I have a hunch you'll look better in it. Ooh. Smooth motion, well balanced, mm -hmm. precision handling. <laughs> Hot chocolate's ready. 
Has she been talking your ear off? She's been educating me on all things Jane Austen. To new beginnings. To the family we choose to have. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.